Dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey guys. Time for board math. Let's have an amazing time. This day, this time, needs to be the loudest we've ever done it. Okay? I want your parents to tell you to shh. Let's get started. All together, you guys. Here we go with B O A R D. B O A R D. Board mat, board mat. Yippee! Read it with me, boys and girls. What number is it? Zero. How do we write a zero? Around and around we go. When we get back, that's zero. What comes next? One, two, three. How do we write a three? Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to write a three. 10, 20, 30. How do we write a 30? Three for the tens and a zero for the ones. 30. How many do you see? One. How do you write a one? Straight line down, one is fun. That's the way to write a one. Is it greater than, less than, or equal? Well, that's the number 100. And that's the number 100. So they're the same or they are equal. 100 equals 100. Number sentences. You guys have been having fun all year with these, so here we go with 10 plus 10 equals, do your mental math. What's zero plus zero? Zero. What's one plus one? Two. 10 plus 10 equals 20. Let's get it a little bit bigger, boys and girls. And let's do 100 plus 100 equals. I know you guys got your mental math going. What's zero plus zero? Zero. What's zero plus zero? Zero. What's one plus one? Two. 100 plus 100 equals 200. Let's get a lot bigger now. Here we go. You guys can do it. 1 million plus 1 million equals... Do your mental math. What's 0 plus 0? Zero? 0. What's 0 plus 0? Zero? 0. What's 0 plus 0? Zero. Hey, you guys are getting pretty good at that. What's zero plus zero? Zero. What's zero plus zero? Still zero. What's zero plus zero? Another zero. Ah, oh, what's one plus one? Two. One million plus one million equals two million. Amazing job, you guys. How many in the 10 frames? Here's our two 10 frames. Uh-oh, they're empty. There's zero in the 10 frames. How many more to make 20? Well, we know 20 is two 10 frames full. And if we have zero, we gotta fill them all up. And 10, and 10 more, we did that just a second ago, is 20. We need 20 more to make 20. What shape is it? Here it is as a picture. Here's a real one. It is a cylinder. How do you know this is a cylinder? Well, it's not flat, so it is three-dimensional or 3D. It has two circle faces. Two circle faces. Well, 
What can a cylinder do? If you got two of them, what can they do? Well, the first thing, since they have a face, a flat face, they can slide. And since they have a curved surface, they can roll. And since they have two flat faces, they can stack. They can do it all. They are cylinders. Okay, next one. What shapes do you see? Well, we're back in Nuffle Bunny here and they're walking through the neighborhood. I can see lots of different things out there. I can see the rectangle windows, two rectangle windows, but if you put them together, they make a bigger rectangle. Inside that laundry basket, there's still those cutouts. They might look like a diamond to you, but they're really just a square. The eyes on the little bunny, on the girl, they're circles. That tree though, hmm, what shape is a tree? We just talked about it. It's a cylinder. Good job. Word problem. Mr. McConnell has 23 amazing students. They all go on to first grade. How many students does Mr. McConnell have? Hmm, that's a tough one. Okay, do your mental math, but let's look at this. Mr. McConnell has 23 amazing students. They all, they all, that means all 23, go. They're leaving on to first grade. They're leaving. How many students does Mr. McConnell have? Okay, so we're going to do this math. You guys ready? Here's Mr. McConnell. He has 23 amazing students. Here we go. One, two, Ah, uh, I'm just gonna put 23. They all go on to first grade. So do I need to take them away? Because they're leaving. So if it's take away, that means minus. And if we gotta take them all away, we're gonna take away 23. But I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm taking away zero. So 23 minus zero equals 23 because you boys and girls are always gonna be my amazing students, even if you're not in class with me. Oh, did that hurt your ears, buddy? I hope so, because we were loud and we were proud. You guys, it's been amazing. Keep working hard, keep learning, have an amazing time. I'll see you guys all later, bye-bye.